Hello everybody and welcome. Now, you know that one of the core pieces of my channel is iMovie tutorials. I love helping people learn to use iMovie. It's a free program, it's very user friendly. However, if you end up editing video for a long time and want to get into more advanced techniques, there are some serious limitations to iMovie. So that is what we are gonna be covering today. Some of the reasons that I quit using iMovie and I pretty much exclusively these days use Adobe Premiere Pro for my video editing. All right, so one of the first reasons I stopped using iMovie was because of the lack of options for text. Really, it bugs me that I can't customize it to my own needs. Uh, I have to select one of these presets and they all have their limitations. There's just nothing perfect. So for example, one of the things I don't like a lot about a lot of them is they all have this auto kind of scrolling animation, like this one just zooms in a little bit. Okay, that's nice, it looks nice, but it's not what I always want. This one here gets wider and wider. Again, these things look nice, but sometimes you just don't want them. So this is one of the ones that doesn't really do much in terms of animation, and I like that, so sometimes I'll pick that one, but then I'm limited to the lower left. Let's say that actually I realize after working on some text that I wanna move it to the upper right, or something like that. There's really no way to do that. I do have this upper left option here, and so I could delete this one and put that one in its place, uh, but it, it's just very limiting in that way. They did add the option in the recent years for you to change some of the features of the text, like now it doesn't always have to be white, so that's nice, you can go in and you can change the color. So they have made improvements in some of the updates they've done to iMovie, but sometimes I just wish I had more options. More examples here, I can go in here and I can change the font, which is great. I'm really glad I can change the font, but I cannot make this not all caps. It's gonna be all caps no matter what I do, and that's just really frustrating. In addition, let's say I want a couple lines of this style of text and I don't wanna use this one at all. I can get rid of this one, but if I go on to, uh, it's not letting me. I can't start a new line there. Um, so if I wanted to put you know, four lines of text on my lower left side, I can't do it. So anyway, I don't think I need to beat this horse any further, but iMovie, I find your lack of text options disturbing. Another major limit of iMovie is the number of overlay layers you can have on your video. So if I want to grab like an image and I wanna put it on one side and then I want to have another one that is on the other side. I'll take this map of Alaska here and let's go in and we'll, we'll change these. I want picture in picture. So if I wanted like one image on the upper left and one image on the um, lower right, actually we need to change from Ken Burns, we want fit. There we go, and this one we will say fit, and we will change it to picture in picture. So let's say I wanna have one image on the upper left, and let's say that I wanna have another one on the upper right. Unfortunately, it's just not going to let me do that. When I try to drag one over the other, it just, it, it's one or the other. I can't have both on screen at the same time. I can't have one thing popping up on my left and then another thing popping up on my right and they're both there at the same time. So that is a frustration for me in terms of video editing. I like to have those options to add multiple overlay layers and I do not have that here in iMovie. I'm limited to one main thing on my timeline, an image or video and another overlay layer, one other image or video, not two, not three. All right, another limit of iMovie that really keeps me from using it much these days is the lack of green screen options. So for green screen, and specifically I'm gonna be talking about the inability to resize and reposition a bit of green screen footage. So here I've got on my desktop some random green screen footage. I put that over the image I wanna be superimposed over, and that in this case is a map of Alaska. So I will go to green slash blue screen, and you can see it's not too much work for me to uh, get this looking pretty nice. And I really do like how easy iMovie makes green screen and uh, how, how easily it looks really good. Like it looks uh, pretty professional with very little effort in iMovie. Uh, compared to other programs that I often do use. So I have my footage here, and you can see I play that, and 
Okay, it doesn't work so well when I'm standing up, but um, anyway, I cropped it to me sitting down. And you can see that looks just fine. So, the thing that I would like to do is I would like to say, put myself in the corner down here or over here, repositioning it. But the reality is once I go into green slash blue screen, I cannot also do picture in picture. So that's really frustrating. I, I have to choose one. If I want to reposition it, I have to choose picture in picture. But if I want green screen, I have to choose that option. So there is actually a workaround for this, and that would be for me to reposition it. Let's say I want myself right here, down in the lower corner. Reposition it, and then I could actually just export this footage, save it as if this was the finished product. At that point, I would then reinsert the footage in iMovie over the map. I would turn on green slash blue screen, and I wouldn't need to do picture in picture anymore. And I would be able to crop out all of this and put in my image once again, even though it would already be showing up in the video. Anyway, it's kind of confusing, but it is a workaround. It's just frustrating to me that there's no option to do that on the outset. And uh, that would be a really nice feature. A lot of people ask me about that on my iMovie green screen tutorials. And um, yeah, I, I don't have a great option other than that kind of workaround hack, which is a little bit of a pain. So some of you might be wondering how I'm filming this video right now where I do have myself in the bottom right corner. Well, I'm actually using open broadcaster software to capture the footage this way before I even start editing it. So open broadcaster is a free piece of software. I recommend you check it out. I have a video on it and I'll put a link up at the top. But anyway, there are some serious limitations to iMovie and that's why I've moved away from it and gone to more feature rich software like Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a paid piece of software and it's not exactly cheap. Still to reemphasize, there are lots of things I like about iMovie. I really like how easy getting a good looking green screen effect is, like I mentioned before. Another feature I really love is this right here, this ability to lower the volume of other clips to kind of get some auto audio ducking. In other words, if I put a bit of music on the track below my video, I just want some background music. If I go in and record some voiceover, I can actually make it so that the music automatically lowers itself when my voiceover comes in. So that's a really nice feature. I can do the same thing with the video here. When it knows that I am talking and there's some audio in the video, it will automatically lower the volume of that music. And that's something that I haven't really found an easy way to do in Adobe Premiere Pro. So again, iMovie is a great piece of software. I recommend you use it as long as you can. But if you're wondering why a lot of people don't use it, hopefully you can now see some of the limitations. And there are many, 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 many more. There are lots of things I do in Premiere Pro that I can't do in iMovie. But I just wanted to state a few of the major ones that first caused me to switch to a different piece of software. I would love to hear from you down below if you have any comments or questions or things to add about what kind of software you use and what kind of features are useful to you. Put them down below. Love to hear from you. All right, that's all, everybody. Take care.